update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from blustery Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. A slightly mixed bag out here. The only indice trading to the downside, U.S. indice that we track, is the transports. They're off 221 points. Otherwise, everything else to the upside, the Dow's up 152. The S&P 19 are 20 points. The NASDAQ 100, 149. That's nine tenths of a percent to the upside. Russell up seven tenths or nearly 15 points. Semi's up 66. You've got gold back $26 right now. Appears that it has formed a bottom we take a look at the intraday time frame charts out there silver's back 44 cents she's trading out 2291 uh light sweet crude is up 57 pennies natural gas up a nickel right now let's go spend a little time and take a look at our indice charts give me a moment here just to change screens and we'll begin by taking a look at the dow in the upper left hand corner so the dow still has for the cash indice still has a cd9 count top that uh, formed out here on november the 8th that high is still in place out there. Until that high gets taken out, it's got a valid topping pattern. The S&P 500, uh, technically it has a sell the D point when it formed a bearish engulfing candle three trading sessions ago. Price is trading into that level right now. So a close above that high, by the way, that high in the S&P would be 4808 and change out there be 4808.93. That would negate that signal. Uh, if we take a look at the NDX 100, it still has a road momentum indicator top. Price has tested and rejected that green oscillator and change line that suggests a further move higher. The Russell 2000, um, you know, it's got perfect bottom. Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, a TD Nikau bottom, a Basil Chapman wave number seven bottom. It's got them all out there. Maybe price is going to go tag that 2404 level. The semis, they have a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top. Price is trading into that swing point. That swing point is from the trading session of... Uh, come on, Stevie, get it. There we go. That's a trading session of December the 28th. That high out there is 40.54.99. That's where price would need to close above in order to negate its sell signal. The transports, uh, I just don't have a good read on them. Uh, the XAU pulling back with gold pulling back, that's not to be unexpected out here, uh, but it is uh, holding support as we speak. So, folks, stay tuned. We've got a replay coming up, I believe. It is, uh, I'm not sure what replay, my apology. But then Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll join Tom at about 3.20 or so in the afternoon. Hey, folks, I will be recording tomorrow's show live from 8 to 9 a.m. So if you can, please tune in early. We'll be looking forward to that. I'll make the show as pertinent as I can for the 1 to 2 o'clock time frame. Have a magical Monday, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.